full picture quote today. You'll be glad you did. Get CBS News Los Angeles on the CBS News app. Download now. Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 8. This was a reign of terror. I pray that this news gives you some small comfort and peace. Tonight, 8 o'clock, developing news, two arrests and a series of robberies and killings that have terrorized Southland communities. Well, with the excessive heat expected in this Southland this weekend, could your address be a bullseye for heat-related illnesses? Also tonight, a lot of excitement in the Southland. Will someone take home the 10th largest prize in Mega Millions history? $480 million. Thank you so much for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Jeff Vaughn. This is KCAL 9 News at 8 o'clock, streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. And I'm Jasmine Veal, and tonight for Susie Sa. Well, now to that developing news. A huge break tonight in the series of robberies and murders at 7-Elevens. Police have arrested two suspects. Yeah, police tell us they killed three people, including a murder in the San Fernando Valley, and shot three others during their reign of terror. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Michelle Sheely with the latest tonight. Two men, a 20-year-old from Los Angeles and a 44-year-old man who lives across the street from him, were arrested, officials say, just after 1 o'clock today. Now, the younger man, who, according to authorities, is identified as Malik Pat, is the alleged gunman. Officials won't say how the other suspect is connected to these 7-Eleven robberies and murders, but the LAPD confirms that the pair are also linked to a murder in North Hills on July 9th and are being looked at for a number of crimes in the LA area. Uh, we are thrilled 